When I heard that my street was on fire and that my kids were at the lodge and the lodge was being evacuated as well, I probably would say it's the most terrifying, terrifying moment of my life. It was absolute hell, absolute hell. My name's Lisa Groom. I used to live and work at Binnaburra Lodge. I'm Tony Groom. I was born at Binnaburra Lodge and I managed it for 15 years. I'm also the son of the founder of Binnaburra Lodge. It's my life, it's where I was born, uh, it's my reason for being. It's such an important place for introducing people to nature. Absolutely everything about this place represents um, yeah, my family's history, this, the efforts to bring people into nature. I guess in a way, as we've built up over the 85 years, has actually just been destroyed. What happened to the lodge was a catastrophic fire. It came roaring up the valley. I've never seen any fire the size of that. It was the size of a beast. It was, you know, Armageddon. Luckily, they got everyone out just before it hit the lodge. Um, actually, a few hours later, it, it was completely gone. What's been lost to me uh, personally is a history over four generations. Also, loss of a place where people can relax in nature and get away from um, the busyness of every day. Its peace is probably the biggest loss. I've never witnessed a bushfire this bad. We, I can remember one when I was a child, the flames came up the side of the mountain, but they, the conditions are different now. It's dry, it's hot, hotter than it should be. This is winter, it's supposed to be winter. I've been watching the climate over the last 20 years and seen the figures. We've just experienced the lowest ever recorded relative humidity in southeast Queensland. That means drier than ever before. We're changing the world in drastic ways and it's an emergency. This is definitely a result of climate change. I cannot imagine this ever happening over the you know, past decades. It's always been a moist environment. Uh, you never see rainforest burning, never seen it like this dry. The noise we can hear in the background right now is the helicopter of our Prime Minister, ScoMo. I would like to say to him, if I got the chance to meet him, that we must declare a climate emergency in the Federal Parliament and that we must catch up with the rest of the world.